Hey, what's up guys? It's George. And in this video here, I want to address the question that I get asked sometimes, uh, and that is, when should you quit your job to go full-time with your business? Uh, so this is the thing, you know, we've all heard that story, um, you know, about burning your boats behind you, you know, the famous stories throughout history, like Cortez and burnt, burnt their boats behind them as a military tactic to where, uh, um, you know, they essentially had no had no possibility of returning. They either had to succeed or they were gonna die trying because they had no way to retreat. Now that's a great story and there's a lot of power in that story. However, however, also understand that there has been a lot of times throughout history that people have adopted that strategy and it didn't work out. Even though they, they burnt their boats behind them, they still failed. There's been a lot of times throughout history, people have burnt their boats behind them in business and, uh, uh, and it didn't work out and they still failed. So, uh, you know, we don't really hear about those. You know, you hear the glamorous situation of, yeah, all you do is burn your boats behind you and, uh, um, and that's, that's the, you know, the way to succeed. And, and like I said, there's a lot of merit and, uh, uh, and value in that, in that story and it, and it teaches some, some good things. But, um, I don't recommend people to uh, to quit their job, to go full-time with their business uh, uh, until they get to a point where they're making consistent income with their business. I recommend to keep your job and keep building your business on the side until it gets to the point where you're, you're consistent, you've developed the habits, which is key, you've developed the entrepreneur habits and mindset, and, uh, um, uh, and enough time has gone by where you've seen it's been consistent income, and, uh, um, uh, and, you feel, uh, and you're at that point where you can quit your job and, and be able to replace your income from your job with income from your business because the income has been consistent. And I don't recommend to just quit your, quit your job and to just go full throttle into a, into a new new business venture um, and there are several reasons why and uh, and one of the big reasons why is is most people don't have the entrepreneur mindset or the entrepreneur habits down and so if they're getting into a business venture for the very first time uh, um, a lot of times they're still stuck in that employee mentality and they might not think that but if you've only worked a job your entire life you've never really built a business for years then it doesn't matter how many books you've read college classes you've taken entrepreneur or, or ship or, or whatever um, uh, you don't have that entrepreneur mindset yet that only comes from experience and uh, uh, an employee mindset is when you're used to trading your time for dollars. Where an entrepreneur you, knows that uh, um, uh, you know they may have to work all week long and not make anything, and if, if anything, it may cost them money. Uh, where an, uh, an employee mindset that would freak them out. Why aren't I getting paid? I'm not making money. Oh my god! But an entrepreneur is focused on the long-term vision. They know that in the beginning they got to put in a tremendous amount of work and sacrifice, so that in the long term, the business can be can be built. You got to think on the long term, and so that can be very difficult for people to have that 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 shift to to seeing things like that. And also because most people don't have the habits, you have to treat your business like a job, and it can be difficult when you're working for yourself, especially if you're new working for yourself because you don't have the discipline and the habits. You don't have someone who's threatening to fire you when you're working for yourself. You got to be your own boss. You got to be the one cracking the whip. And a lot of people, they all of a sudden quit their job. They get all this free time. And the next thing you know, they're screwing around. They're sleeping in. They're going out at night. They're, you know, yeah, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm building my business. And, uh, you know, they're on Facebook all day messing around, doing all kinds of exciting posts and everybody about how they're building their business. But they're not doing the boring, mundane, consistent actions uh, and what it takes to build a successful business. They don't have the habits down. And so, you know, a lot of times with people, they'll be like, oh, you know, I want to, uh, you know, they'll, fa they'll, they'll share with me how they have these fantasies of, you know, how ne next year, you know, they're only making $30,000 a year right now at their job. And then, but next year they want to make a million dollars. And I would ask them, you know, do you have million, million dollar a year habits? Do your habits match your goals and the visions that you have? And for most people, it's no. They have these audacious goals and, and visions, but they don't. Their their habits and their daily actions don't align with their with their vision. 
And so that's why I don't recommend for, for people to quit their job uh, uh, right away. Most of the people that I have seen over the years who have quit their job um, uh, or gone and gone full time into into building a business, the most of people that I've seen, friends and and and, uh, and people that I've witnessed, have not succeeded. Unfortunately, they've uh, um, they failed and they've ended up having to move back in with their family uh, or going back to getting a job. Where most people who I've seen who have had the the, the, the long term success are the ones who built their business on the side. And then it got to the point, like I was saying, where they're making consistent income, they've developed the work ethics, the, the habits, the mindset, and then they're able to transition into quitting their job and doing it full time. That's how I did it. I worked at a job for over three years, three and a half years, uh, building my business on the side until it got to the point where I realized that I was uh, uh, losing more money by work, keeping this job than it was by going full time because it was costing me money because I was turning away so much business because of my job that uh, um, I finally made the jump. Now, uh, another thing to consider is also is is what stage of life you're at. You know, if you're a young man in your 20s, you got no kids, you got no, uh, uh, you know, you're a single guy, you got no kids or anything like that, and you want to go full time in your business, sure, you know, go for it because you know, it, you know, you got a lot of energy and drive and ambition at that age, and uh, you know, you may have what it takes to just skyrocket and that can be a really quick way to achieve massive success. So it also depends on what stage that you're at in life. You know, if you're uh, if you're older and you got you know obligations, you know you got family, uh, you got children, you got a mortgage you got to pay. Um, then uh, you know not only are you if, if you jump into doing a business full time and quitting a job, not only are you putting yourself at risk, but you're putting your family at, at risk as well of losing everything. So you want to take that into consideration. So it really also depends at what stage that you're at a, in at in life and. and and, and, and the thing is, is that you can absolutely build a massive successful business while working a full-time job, while working 40 hours a week. There are uh, a lot of hours in a week. I can't think of the number right offhand, but one of you guys can comment and fill me in. Um, and so you can you can easily build uh, an extra business or two on the side around a full-time job. You're just gonna have to make some sacrifices. Maybe you're gonna have to stop watching so much TV or playing video games or give up, uh, you know, some some stuff you do on the weekends. But uh, at least that way, um, uh, you know, you're, it, it, that's a, a smarter approach because that way you you're you're not taking such a tremendous risk of, of losing everything. So just some food for thought, guys. Um, Again, it depends what stage you're at in your life and how much risk that you are willing to take and know that if you do quit your job to go full-time with your business, sure, that's a, a, an excellent and powerful way to, um, uh, to, you know, to, to get really massive levels of success very quickly. And it does work for some people, but also for some people, for many people, they do also fail terribly because they don't have the mindset and they don't have uh, they don't have the mindset and they don't have the habits down. Now, if you're a, an experienced entrepreneur, then uh, um, uh, someone that's been an entrepreneur doing businesses for a long time, then that's a different story. You know, you may have the mindset and the habits down. Um, like myself, for example, I've been in situations where um, you know I've lost everything and uh, um, and I needed to. It was like you know, but um, but I had been an entrepreneur for so long that I was able to start a new business like that and uh, um, and start making money very quickly like for example um, uh, uh, what would have been like two years now time flies and uh, um, and th that's how I found out about the phone flipping uh, you know some things happened in my life long story lost everything and I was like oh my gosh I got to I didn't want to get a job because it had been so long since I had a job I'd been an entrepreneur that I just searched online saw you could flip phones uh, to to generate income uh, I bought a course on a credit card and within my first month made over five thousand thousand um, dollars but I had got to remember I had almost 10 years of entrepreneurial over 10 years of entrepreneurial experience at that point so I had that uh, being a, you know it had been a full-time entrepreneur for for years so I had the mindset down the habits I knew what it took and was able to just transition into a new business so just food for thought guys uh, leave your comments below let me know what you think about this situation and uh, keep crushing it guys keep making that money keep achieving freedom and until next time, guys, let's make it a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year. Let's make it a great life. See ya.